Hello and welcome. Dave Bluesy here. Today I'd like to talk to you about three real estate terms you may have heard thrown about. Market value, appraisal, and short sale. And I'll do my best to make the discussion as interesting as possible. Market value is the highest price that a prudent and knowledgeable buyer is willing to pay for a property, assuming the property has been on the market a reasonable period of time and has received adequate market exposure. Buyers will typically comparison shop by looking at 10 or 15 different homes and then decide which one best meets their wants and needs. They'll determine how much they're willing to pay for that property and the highest price that any buyer is willing to pay is the market value. Here's what a buyer will not do. A buyer will not say to the seller, what is the cost of that new boat you want to buy? How much is your daughter's college tuition? And what's the price on that condo you have your eye on in Florida? That's how much I'll pay you for your property. It won't happen. It never does. The market value is only what the property is worth to the buyer. Sellers can set the asking price, but buyers set the market value. An appraisal is an estimate of what a property will sell for when it does go on the market. It's an educated guess of what that highest price is that a buyer would be willing to pay. The appraiser or your real estate agent will look for comparable sales, that is the sales of homes that are similar to yours, because after all your house is worth what houses similar to it are selling for. No two houses are exactly the same, so adjustments are made for features that the subject property and comparable properties may or may not have. Uh, an appraisal does not set the value of the property, it doesn't determine the value of the property. It's merely an estimate of its market value. A short sale, well, that's a much less pleasant situation. A short sale occurs when the costs of selling a property, the amount of mortgage to be paid off, the real estate agent's commissions, attorney's fees, conveyance taxes and closing costs, when all of those costs exceed the sale price. There simply isn't enough money to pay all those expenses. You may have also heard the term underwater. That's what it means when a property is underwater. Does it mean that a short sale can't sell? No. Uh, under extenuating circumstances, a bank may agree to accept less than what's owed on the property. In that case, all the expenses of the sale will be paid. The bank will get every dollar that's left over and the seller will not end up with anything. The other way a short sale can occur is if the seller is willing to dip into savings and bring cash to the closing to make up the difference. That's it for today. See you soon.